an annual church gate collection each year, which the people of Cork support us very generously. And also we make a certain amount of money in the club itself from the various amenities we provide. Uh, we usually manage to break just about even each year. Uh, in the club there is um, a lovely lounge where they can associate with the girls and maybe have a sing-song later on that evening. And there is also um, a dance floor where they, if they'd like to dance night away. And there they can play billiards, maybe go to the television room and relax if they'd like a quiet evening, or go to the library for that matter. That's one thing I like. It doesn't make a difference which colour you are. They all come and talk to you. And uh, see if everything's all right. They ask you for a dance, if you want to dance. They play pools, if you want to play pools. Which is, uh, it's very, uh, it's very great, it's very fantastic. Well, I work as a typist in Ronan Daily Hay Solicitors. And... Well, I came here first of all because some friends of mine joined it and they enjoyed it and so I joined and I enjoyed it very much. Uh, initially I think it's something I really enjoy. I don't actually go down there for a club work or mercy or charity or otherwise. It's just I enjoy the place. Well, as we were always taught when we were children that, you know, sailors were bad and they were supposed to be very rough, you know, but I mean, from joining the club, I've had a completely different idea about them. I mean, in fact, I met my fiancé here 10 months ago. And I've learned that, you know, people can fall in love with sailors, and I mean, they aren't rough. They're just lonely, and they come to missions, you know, to meet people and to talk to them about their families. It happened to be my night, and I was in, and I went into the bar, and... I ordered a drink and had a chat with the bar lady, Miss Hyde, and um, there weren't many people there. I did notice there were some seamen in the corner, and Miss Hyde said, um, any of you here gentlemen speak German? Because uh, she knew I had spent some time in Germany and I knew the language, and um, they said yes, yes, and four of them came over, and they started chatting with us, and um, one of them happened to be my husband, Carl, and um, he hadn't much to say for himself at the time. <laughs> we get people of every denomination and every uh, creed and uh, Buddhists and Hindus and Mohammedans and every conceivable um, uh, religion, every conceivable country, and we give them a friendly welcome wherever they are so that... Um, um, it provides, the church is providing a need for seamen. One of the activities, any missionary activity, generally speaking, is providing something that people need. It may be a school or a hospital abroad, something that uh, they uh, need. And through that contact, they see the church in action.